Hey folks, Brandon here. It's the holiday season, that wonderful time of lights, gifts, and quality time with the family. And what better way to get into the season than to review a Christmas classic, starring Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. This is Christmas with a Crank. Uh, what was that? No. No, it can't be. Oh God! Oh, cheese and crackers! This is Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla, or Godzilla Resurgence, is a 2016 film distributed by Toho, their latest Godzilla film in 12 years, and serves as a third reboot to the franchise. Following these two films, which I really don't want to talk about, so what exactly does Godzilla have to do with Christmas? Simple. Nothing at all. The film follows Japan's government officials, including their Prime Minister, reporting on an unusual figure emerging from the shore of Tokyo. This figure, of course, is a very underdeveloped Godzilla. Seriously, look at this thing. As he quickly makes his way towards Tokyo, slowly evolving to the hulking monster we know today. The officials discuss the development and the destructive outcome this creature might have, as they desperately try to find a way to stop it but soon they will realize how powerful Godzilla truly is. This film wastes no time getting into it, as we see Godzilla, or Ghidra if you want to be more technical, surge from the ocean, already causing destruction without reaching landfall yet. Everybody scrambles to figure out what the creature is and where did it come from. Basically it moves at a very fast pace and it holds your attention well, never getting too slow or boring. There aren't any unnecessary slow moments with characters going on and on about what they should do to stop the monster. Those brief moments of characters talking are simple and get to the point, while following up with immediate coverage of Godzilla and exactly what he's doing. There are very few characters we followed or spend too much time with in this film, as the only character who gets the most screen time would be Rando Yagaguchi, played by Hiroki Hazagawa, considering he's the main person trying to stop Godzilla from advancing forward. Godzilla himself looks absolutely terrifying. His burnt and scaled covered body, his changing color palette really gives off this giant lizard being a walking nuclear reactor. It certainly doesn't look like a man in a rubber suit, but you'd be surprised to know that the filmmakers used a number of puppets, animatronics, and CGI to bring this interpretation of Godzilla to life. But one of the main things I feel this film accomplishes is the overall feeling of dread, something that can't be said with the more recent reboots. This film isn't like the many Godzilla films from the past, as those films don't really take themselves too seriously. Plus, there aren't any giant monsters for him to fight. Yet, this film is very much a remake to the first 1954 film, and with that comes a movie that takes itself incredibly serious, as they show the horror and the tragedy that Godzilla can bring. It acts as a sort of allegory to the hell that nuclear war can bring to our world, and the actions we take to try and stop it. One of my only real complaints is that we aren't given an exact close in-depth look at the aftermath of the destruction. Now don't get me wrong, there is a lot of buildings being destroyed and quite a few surprises Godzilla has, but it would have been more impactful to see the reactions of the civilians as they deal with this crisis, taking on perspectives of multiple different survivors as they try to make their way out of the country, even for just a brief moment. Okay, this review got a little dark, so uh, let me just, uh, uh, there we go. To sum it up, Shin Godzilla serves as a great reboot to the series, and does Wolf taking itself seriously. If you're expecting something a little more lighthearted or silly, you certainly won't find that here, as I would only recommend this to fans and those who want something a little more, for lack of a better word, edgy. Check it out for yourself and see why he's called the King of Monsters. Well, that took a very unexpected turn for the holiday season. I guess I should have reviewed something Christmas related, but one quick review is better than nothing, right? Thank you so much, you guys, and expect another video very soon. I've got a lot of ideas going into 2017, which I'm sure you all will love. Some good, some bad, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I trust you all to have a very great holiday season and a happy new year as well. Until then, be on the lookout for those giant monsters, I, I guess, and I'll see you all next year.